Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to all you Akim out there pushing this word with all truth and sincerity. And uh, I want to go into a lesson pretty much on um, how we don't uh, literally need to see things for our eye, with our own eyes in order to believe, you know. You know, it's all through faith, through hope, you know, uh, uh, and believing on the things that's written, you know. Because, uh, you know, you look out to this world, a lot of people, they actually have to see it for themselves to believe it, you know. Um, they carnal, you know, they need actual, you know what I'm saying, um, proof, so to speak, right? Proof in order to believe, you know. And us, you know, as we're supposed to be spiritual men, right? That we should believe on things that the scripture says without sin and without proof, but hope. So I want to start with this first. This is Hebrews 11 and 1. It says, now faith is the substance. And on, in, in my scriptures, for the little side note, for substance, it says confidence. But it's Hebrews 11 and 1. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen, right? So, pretty much saying, faith are the things uh, that you can't see, but you're still hoping for them, man. You're still believing in them, you know? And I want to get a few examples uh, out of the scriptures to, you know, further prove the point, you know, through the Spirit. So, this is John, and this is Jehovah Shai, um, dealing with Thomas, you know? And I start at, uh, I start at um, 24. This is John. 20 and 24 it says but thomas one of the 12 called didymus was not with them when yahweh shai came the other disciples therefore said unto him we have seen the lord but he said unto them except i shall see in his hands the print of the nails and put my fingers into the print of the nails and thrust my hand into his side i would not believe you know so, so the disciples was pretty much telling Thomas, man, when you was gone, we seen the Lord. We seen you, Howard Shai. He was in our face, man. And Thomas was like, man, hey, I, I ain't going to believe it. If I could put my finger in his hands and, and in his, the mark on his side, then I'll believe, you know. So he needed proof, you know. Verse 26. And after eight days, again, his disciples were within. And Thomas with them. So Thomas was with them this time. Then came Yahweh Shai, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. Then said he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. So Yahweh Shai pretty much uh, gave Thomas what he wanted, right? You want to put your, uh, your hand in my hand? Go ahead. You want to put it in my side? Then go ahead, you know? And it says, and Thomas answered and said unto him, my Lord and my power. So Thomas, when he did it, he believed. Oh, it is you, right? My Lord, my power. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet believe, you know? So just because Thomas actually seen Yahweh Shai with his own eyes, he believed him. And that's out of Thomas' own mouth. He said, um, if I don't see him, then I'm not going to believe, man. But Yahweh Shah said, blessed are they who have not seen and yet believe, man. You know? And that's one of the things um, that's key in this, in this faith, man. Faith, you know? That's one of the things that's key in this truth, you know? We ain't going to just see as of right now, you know? You got to believe first, man. Have faith first, you know? So I want to grab this. This is 2 Ezra 1 and 35. And if you go a little bit up, matter of fact, I'll start up. This is 2 Ezra 1 and 32. It says, I have sent unto you my servants the prophets, whom ye have taken and slain, and torn their bodies in pieces, whose blood I will require of your hands, save the Lord, you know? And that's Israel, man. Every time a prophet was sent to him, they didn't believe him. They didn't believe 
the words that they spoke, you know? They either killed them, you know, or, or did many things with the prophet. They had their own ways with the prophets, man. And it says, thus saith the almighty power, your house is desolate, I will cast you out as the wind do of stubble, and your children shall not be fruitful, for they have despised my commandment and done things that is even before me, right? And, and more recently, uh, in the Roman Empire, you know, when um, Paul, you know, and the disciples, the apostles, uh, went to speak to the, the Israelite foreigners, man. The southern kingdom, the Jews, right? Um, you know, as we were scattered throughout, Paul was bringing them back. They thought they was, you know, considered them heathens, man. Pretty much this for us, you know? They can't come into what we have. Because they didn't believe, they didn't understand the, the magnitude of Yahweh Shai, the blood of Yahweh Shai, man. You know? They were still in the old covenant, the old understanding, you know, as far as Moses, man. But they didn't understand Yahweh Shai. So when, as Paul started going to the uh, Israelite foreigners, and they was believing through faith, not having seen Yahweh Shai himself, that, matter of fact, the scriptures go get into it. The second edge is 1 in 35. It says, Your houses will I give to a people that shall come. Which not having heard of me yet shall believe. You know? They a hey, and, and that's <laughs> man, I'ma keep going. It says, which not having heard of me, yet shall believe me, to whom I have showed no signs, yet they shall do that I have commanded them, man. You know? And and growing even us to this day, growing up as Babylonians, you know, in America, we didn't know nothing about Israel, nothing about Yahweh, uh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, the law, such as commandments. But it came a point in time when we heard this word, we believed, man. We had faith that it was actually the words of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And it says, um, I have showed no signs. We haven't seen true miracles and signs. Uh, well, I wouldn't say that, because it's a miracle that we came into this understanding. You know, back to who we are, standing upon our feet, you know, by preaching, you know, uh, uh, by brothers uh, and sisters, man, waking up across the four corners. That's a miracle in itself. But physical miracles as far as raising somebody from the dead, you know, signs and wonders, we haven't seen that. But we believe, man, we believe that it not only could happen, but it will happen, man. You know, that it, it will happen, you know. I'm going to keep going. It says, they have seen no prophets, yet shall they call their sins to remembrance and acknowledge them. I take to witness the grace of the people to come, whose little ones remember whose little ones rejoice in gladness, and though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, yet in spirit they believe the things that I say. And we haven't seen Yahweh Shai with bodily, uh, bodily eyes, man, but we believe the things that he say. You know, we have faith in the things that the scriptures say, man, that Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechak Wadah say, man. You know, uh, I think it's in uh, Peter, matter of fact, Peter said the same thing. This is uh, 1 Peter 1 and 8, and it's talking about Yahweh Shai. It says, Whom having not seen, ye love, and whom though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. So we don't see Yahweh Shai, man, but we believe, we love, man, you know? And, and like Thomas said, I, if I don't sin for myself, if I don't touch him, I ain't gonna believe it, man. And I'm speaking to myself, first and foremost, we can't be that same way. We have to trust in the things that's written, have faith in the things that's written, man, that they will come to pass, you know? Uh, let's see. I want to grab another example real quick. And Luke. About pretty much uh, not sin, but believing, trusting in it, you know? So this is Luke. 18 and uh, I started at 35 It says and it came to pass That as he was come nigh unto Jericho and it's speaking of Yahweh Shai As he was come nigh unto Jericho A certain blind man sat by the wayside begging so that's that's key a blind man, right? So he couldn't see <laughs> it says and Hearing the multitude pass by he asked what it meant, right? So he heard 
you know, he blind, right? So, but he heard a multitude pass by. And he was like, hey, what, what's going on? What's that noise? What does this, what does this mean? Verse 37, and they told him that Yahawashai of Nazareth passeth by. And he cried saying, Yahawashai, thou son of David, have mercy on me, right? So he blind, he heard a noise, hey, what's going on? And they're like, hey, Yahawashai of Nazareth passing by, man. <laughs> you know, you blind, hey, and the way he said it, he cried saying, Yahawashai, thou son of David, have mercy on me. You know, and like Apostle Gabor always say, um, we got to be visionaries, man. So when we read the scriptures, we got to, uh, uh, sort of put ourselves um, in a scene, right? You know, so when when he heard that, he oh, you know, shit, you know, damn, Yahweh Shai passing by, he cried, Yahweh Shai, have mercy on me, man. He be begging, you know. It says, and they which went before rebuked him that he should hold his peace. You know, Jake, you know, Jake, hey, man, chill out, man, be quiet, you know. Cause hey, Yahweh Shai, have mercy upon me, thou son of David. He's screaming, man. He was crying out. You know, he was blind. He didn't see. But they told him, man, oh, shit, you know. But, you know, they were trying to tell him, be quiet, right? So as they was trying to tell him, be quiet, he said, and they told him to hold his peace, but he cried so much the more. So after they told him that, he even cried out even more, man. And that's to tell you right there, that's faith in itself, because I'm sure for him to react that type of way, he had to hear of Yahweh Shah, the miracles that Yahweh Shah was doing. You know, I'm sure he, he, hey, come on, man, you heard a few things. The acts that Yahweh Shai was doing was spreading. It was, it was, you know, people was hearing about that, man. You know? But it says, and they which went before rebuked him that he should hold his peace, but he cried so much the more. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. So he didn't listen to him say, be quiet, hold your peace, man. You know? It says, and Yahweh Shai stood and commanded him to be brought unto him. And when, when he was come near, he asked him, saying, What will that I should do unto thee? So Yahweh, when he came to Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai was like, What you want me to do unto you? And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Receive thy sight, thy faith have saved thee, man. And the point I wanted to get that, the reason I wanted to get that is because the man was blind. He didn't see. He didn't see Yahweh Shai with his own eyes. You know? But when he heard Yahweh Shai was just passing by, he cried unto him, Yahweh Shai, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Man, he believed it. Why? Because after they told him, be quiet, you know, hold your peace. He cried even the more. That's faith, man. You know, he didn't just do that just because, you know? It's, 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 it's evident it was a reason um, it's evident that he had enough faith to believe that Yahweh Shai can heal him, you know? Can uh, uh, do something for him. And it says, And immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying Yahweh. And all the people, when they saw it, gave praise unto the Most High, man. So he didn't see Yahweh Shai, but he believed that Yahweh Shai can heal him. And Yahweh Shai told him, Thy faith have saved thee. His faith made him whole, man, because he believed. And what Hebrews said, man, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So he was blind, he couldn't see it, but he hoped for it. He hoped to get healed, man. And that's what Yahweh Shai did for him. So we gotta be the same way. We gotta continue to hope for what's written uh, to come to pass, man. Continue to believe in Lord willing, we endure to the end, you know? I'm gonna grab a few more and I'll go ahead and end it. This is Romans 8 and 24. It says, for we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doeth he yet hope for, right? If you see something, you don't have to hope for it, you know? Because you have it, it's there in your face. You know, it's right here. I don't have to, man. I wish I hope I, I hope I get this, I hope I have that. If you have it, you don't have to hope because you have it, you, it's right here, you know? So, it says, for what a man see, why do he yet hope for it? So if you got proof, if you can see it, what you hoping for, you know? Verse 25, but if we hope for that we see not, so if we hope for the things that we don't see, then do if we patient, then do if we with patience 
wait for it. So if you're hoping for it and you have faith that it's going to come, then you go patiently wait for it, man, because you believe in it. You don't need to see it. You don't need to have proof, man. And the Wadi Ha'abashim Al-Shah for giving us this understanding and this faith, man, to not have to see, you know, to not need proof, to know that simple things like uh, Yahweh Shah, so-called big angelic black man go crack the heavens, standing on the UFO coming back with the angels, you know, simple things like now to, to know that through the spirit, man, Israelite faunas, they go come in all shapes and colors. You might have some that look like gooks. Uh, some that look like Edomites, but they Israelites, man. We don't need to see them over the afro or uh, wide nose, dark skin. That they Israelites, man. And it, it's many other things, but that's just just two, you know. And I'm gonna end it off with this one. This is Second Corinthians five and seven. For we walk by faith, not by sight. You know, so we walk by faith and not by sight, man. We don't need to see because it's by faith, you know. It's by hope, believing, you know. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to all you Akim out there pushing his word with all truth and sincerity. And with that, Shalom.